John Lou. We had an amazing change up. I've been fighting a sore throat, so forgive me if I don't project as well as the assembly member. But it is no secret to anyone that has been in New York City over the last couple of years that the MTA is broken and needs fixing. And when we talk about fixing the MTA, we're not talking about putting a band-aid on the problem. We're not talking about scraping a couple of nickels together to get them through another year and then facing the same problem again next year. We're talking about real structural change that will put the MTA on sound fiscal footing going forward forever. And what does that mean? That means the kind of money to make it a world-class mass transit system. We are trying to get people back on the subways. We are trying to get people back to work. Well, we can't do it if we don't have a mass transit system that's working, that is safe, and that works for them with the increased service that people expect. We can't do it if we don't provide free buses to get people back on the buses and back uh, riding mass transit and off the streets in other ways, including in cars. We need to do this. We need to freeze fares because if you want to convince people to get back on the subways, the last thing you should ask them to do is to pay more to get on them. That's right. Yeah. True. We need to increase service so that we get those six-minute rides that everyone expects and wants. So you're not standing on the platform for a half an hour waiting for a train to show up. That's right. And we need to provide free buses to change the way we do business, to shake people in New York City from thinking that things are the way they always have been and always will be. Free buses, frozen fares for the subways, increased service for both. That is the way we get the city back on its feet, and that is what we're here to say needs to happen in the budget that's going to pass next month. Thank you, Zoran, for playing such a great role in helping put this together. My colleagues in the Senate have been terrific. Andrew Bernardis has been fighting for mass trans in the MTA for so long, as well as Jessica Ramos and John Liu. That's all my colleagues who are here in the Senate. Natalia Fernandez, who just walked in. Good timing. Uh, and we are just representative of dozens of more of our colleagues who are maybe at one of these other press conferences upstairs right now. Can do it. But I want to thank the advocates for making the trip up here. Yeah. And for fighting the fight that's going to get us where we need to go. Thank you all very much. Thank you.